up guys i just got my ccs adapter uh, i've already opened it up that's okay uh, i'm here at this charge point unit and this supercharger combo station but we are here to check it out see if it works see how it works and kind of my first impressions on it so here we go all right so we're gonna find the charge point app here here we go it says available so i'm going to start charge as we can plug in now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this guy out. I'm gonna have to plug this in just like, oh geez. Okay, just like that, maybe. Charging station authentication required. See stations for instructions. That one over there is blue. I might have the wrong one. Right out there. Authorizing, oh, oh there we go. And it says charging. Blink and blue, thinking about it. I just heard the, con the contactors click and there it is. Holy crap. So I'm, I'm at a pretty high state of charging. I'm at 69%. I, I charge at home, of course. So right now I'm only pulling uh, 27 kilowatts. I think that's, that's actually pretty on par with what this car can handle. This is a standard range for when you're at 70% state of charge. I did not precondition the battery. I did not do any of that stuff. So it says charging here. It does list the battery percentage, the state of charge, uh, and then also the time remaining. I think that's to 100% because the car is only saying 15 minutes to 80%. We're gonna see if this little button here works. If I press that, it's, it's like locked. And this whole thing is, is in there pretty good. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it stopped. The car had its little uh, ding. That pulls right out. <sighs> And that came off with some pretty uh, significant force with two hands and put this back. I was getting some pretty weird looks too from uh, the other Teslas charging next door here. Well, hey, uh, color me impressed. This was actually, it worked really well. Um, I'm still ha I still have lots of questions on the charge speed. Uh, more to be learned on this CCS adapter. And I got this little, uh, this little warning in the car that says the CCS cable button is not intended to stop charging and you should use the screen or the app to disconnect. That's good to know, I, I guess. Why is, why, why is there a button? If it doesn't do any, if it's not supposed to do that. Does the same thing go for J1772? Uh, uh, I don't know. So overall that worked really, really well. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I still have a lot of questions in terms of it stuck at 30 kilowatts for like the entire charge. I know I'm at a high state of charge. I know I have a standard range but the fact that it's stuck at 30 between 68 and 77 is a little concerning. So like, is this thing actually worth 250 bucks? Yeah, yeah. For the average person, for the average Tesla driver, <laughs> no. For the road tripper, for the avid weekender, for the people who are going off the supercharger network for their jobs and, and what have you, yeah. Let's be clear about one thing. I think that it's priced for convenience, not materials. So a lot of the places that I visit are small towns. Small towns like to, Tesla doesn't install uh, superchargers in one or two unit sizes in small towns. If a, if a small town is going to invest in a charger, they can't just invest in a single supercharger in their municipality parking lot. Never gonna happen, not in this decade at least. So what these small towns, municipalities, parking garages even are reaching for because they're accessible is CCS. That's where this adapter is going to shine. Again, it's the little gas station on a state highway who's going to install this because it's their only option. It's going to be the national parks who are installing these because Tesla is slow to the reach. Some of them have already invested, like Glacier National Park has already invested in 1772 chargers. That barrier to entry is gone with CCS. And now that I and other Tesla owners can enjoy that, the perks of that network, as flawed as it may be, is big. And after 50,000 miles and a year and a half of owning my Tesla, I think this is probably the biggest deal uh, for the future of my road trips. This will allow me to go places I've never been before and I never will have the chance to go unless Tesla suddenly allows small businesses to buy one or two supercharger stalls. It is what it is. And for the average person, it's, it's hard to justify. 
But for the avid road tripper, for the enthusiast, for the people who bought the $500 Chatamo adapter just for the hell of it, that's who this CCS adapter is for. So hey, I've got more testing to do on this CCS adapter. Um, tonight's results weren't super conclusive. I hope for the best. I hope it works. I hope it's successful. I hope it's easy. I hope it's as easy as a supercharger. Uh, I'm headed next week on a 2,000 mile road trip with a bunch of friends. We're doing like a New England fall tour through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, all of that stuff back through New York and Pennsylvania. So if you want to stay tuned for that, go ahead, smash subscribe. But in the meantime, my name is Troy Mikoff and I'll see you guys in the next one.